Okay, this is the east side of the master suite. And this is the gas meter. It's obviously high enough off of the ground. Um, this is capped off. This is capped off as it's supposed to be. We're not seeing any bonding. I expect to find that. I expect to, we probably did already find that in the uh, furnace. So what we've got here, we're looking. There's a little window for the meter guy. Ooh, what's your bill? Is we got some exposed NM cables. Some people call it Romex. And some nice stair step cracks over this window as well. There's a bootleg. NM cables not supposed to be used off of this soffit. Same thing for this carriage lamp. This hanging pendulum. What do they call those? I'll get it in a minute. So all these, this this light and these lights are bootlegged off of this extension of that that receptacle outlet up here is only for Christmas lights. It's not for permanent applications. But that's not why we're here. We're here for the condensing unit. And it's a little less than level. A little less than level. It should be level. This is a data plate. And what do we learn from this data plate? We learned in 2006 that the unit is 15 years old. They're engineered on paper to last 20. They might last 35. I've got one that's 18 years old now. But Las Vegas is going to give you 14. After 14 years, this thing has done just about all anybody expected it to do. It's a five ton unit. We're learning that. But we're also learning, by the way, we're also learning that this is a R22 system. R22 refrigerant. Some people call it Freon. That's the name. All right. Well, it's no longer manufactured in the United States legally. It's no longer imported in the United States legally. Is there stockpiles of it? Yes, there are. Is it expensive? It's very expensive. You have an old unit that is probably, in 2006, probably a SEER 10. Right now, about 14.5 is the minimum SEER you can get. So you got an inefficient old unit that's using a refrigerant that's also expensive. And yes, they do sell drop-ins, and they're not cheap either. And the drop-ins are even less efficient than the original R22. So you'll never get a return on your investment. You're just keeping old equipment. And if you have an air conditioning guy come out here, and he sees that somebody put a drop-in, they'll put a little sticker over there, and because you don't have the R410, the new stuff, Peron, whatever. So he comes in here and he sees that somebody else has been working on it. Well, you might as well just put that guy, that first guy, on payroll. Because... Probably not many and air conditioning guys are going to want to follow him. Just about any technician that comes out here to service this is going to rightfully say that, you know, encourage you to update the system. They are. That's what they're going to do. And rightfully so. So, now Texas Real Estate Commission, all they care about is it, is it on or off? Does it work or it doesn't work? Is it performing the function for which it's intended or does it not? But my clients, most of my clients want to know how old their stuff is. They want to know what to expect. You want to know what your bills are going to be like. You want to know what your maintenance bills are going to be like. Hi. You want to know what your replacement bills are going to be like. Hi. What was that dirty? Dirty filters. Uh, dirty fins over here. And this backside is supposed to be elevated a minimum of three inches above grade, and it's not. Coming along here, this is your, if this was installed today and it wasn't, You'd have an electric receptacle outlet out here. Maybe that one up there in the soft. An electric receptacle outlet so the technician could, um, you know, put his vacuum pump up to it and work on your stuff. This is your electric service disconnect so that the technician can safely work on this. And it's wired right. It's supposed to be sealed on these three sides. And this foam. Okay, no longer meets energy requirements since 2015. When was this installed? 2006, so it wasn't required, but it's an energy thing. So I'm just telling you that this foam no longer meets energy requirements. And that'll be on the report too. Okay. Sealing, making note, cleaning, maybe making note, just understanding 
understand what it is that you have here. Now, the temperature today is not going to bust 60 degrees. I'm going to be able to turn this system off. But any data I collect as far as the air going in and the air coming out, any comparisons, it's, it's not relative. I won't be able to collect any meaningful data. I'll only be able to tell you whether the system responds to the thermostat or not. I wish I could tell you more, but the weather is what it is. It is what it is.